Welcome to another parent teacher video lesson from the earlygiftedmanual.com, a free website for homeschooled children three to seven years old and their parents that promotes and develops giftedness at an early age. I am Gary Blank, the creator of that site and your host and facilitator for this video and all of the videos in my educational program. As the video lessons are designed to work in conjunction with the program on my website, I ask you to, at some point, click on the URL link in the description box below, and this action will take you to the earlygiftedmanual.com. By doing that, you will be able to put this lesson and all of the video lessons here on my channel in the proper context of the total program that I am presenting to you and your child. Welcome to lesson 24. And in this lesson, I will show you uh, just a few more zero to 100 number activities that you can do with your child. And um, as we go along here, I will, uh, I will tell you uh, what you need for each particular uh, activity. And the first thing that I would like to, uh, to show you that's actually kids love doing this and all you really need are your two hands. I call them finger flashes. And of course, uh, I'm gonna show them on the table like this so you can see them, but uh, you can hold your hands up and do this with your child also. And simply what you're doing is you're going to flash uh, various numbers of fingers and your child has to guess uh, what, how many fingers you flashed all together. Let me give you an example. Let's say you're thinking in your mind uh, 33, so there's 10, 20, 30, and you would put out three like that, and then your child would have to guess how many fingers you flashed. And uh, this time I'll let you guess. And of course, uh, if you were counting along and, and uh, counting on from tens, uh, of course, that was 55. So uh, this is a, a wonderful, easy to do activity you can do with, you, with your child to, uh, to reinforce this idea of uh, a quick way to count, counting by tens. And we'll, we'll get into that a little more here uh, in, a, in a soon to be uh, uh, arriving lesson, but not this one. <laughs> All right, so that's finger flashing. And of course you can flash uh, fives also if uh, you wanna start teaching your child to count by fives. Of course that was 22, so it's up to you. But those are finger flashes. And now uh, this next activity is called comparing numbers. And what you will need for this activity is, uh, um, this is a whole set of uh, number cards from zero to 100. And I've made a couple uh, copies, uh, and there's a reason for that. So for a couple numbers, you can make a, a copy because we're gonna be using the equal sign, and you'll see in a minute what I mean. So you need that, um, let's put it like this. And of course, this sign is greater than, and if you put it this way, less than. And you could perhaps have your child trace it with her finger a few times to get used to that. And of course, it can be flipped to use it however you want. And finally, there is the equal sign, and, it, and we'll get into this a little more in uh, addition and subtraction, but right now you can just say that equal sign means is the same as. So that'll work for now. Okay, let's uh, compare some numbers here. Let's put these, uh, let's put this here for now. And let's see, I'll start with these two off the top here. And you can show your child how to read these cards by saying, is 71 less than 65? And of course you have to explain to her that uh, you can take these away. This part of this sign will 
will point towards or will be oriented towards the larger number. This part here, the pointer side, will be pointing towards the smaller number. So um, actually you might want to start out like this to give her a positive uh, <laughs> example. You could say um, Mary is 71 greater than 65 and if she knows her numbers of course she's going to say well of course it is that's a that's a larger number so uh, let's move on here with a couple more numbers well here's a pretty good example here um, Jimmy is Five greater than 43, and he should look at that and he'll, he'll say, no, five is not greater than, than 43. And then you can say, well, let's change that to, uh, to make it correct. You flip this around and, and you say, look, five is less than 43. And of course, you can do this with any different numbers in the deck. We're just basically... Uh, comparing numbers here, greater than, less than. And of course, uh, you'll want to, to try this one also. And we'll move everything out of the way for this because you don't want to give them any hints. Uh, and there's my car. Bring it back in here. You actually are tricking her a little bit here. You could say, uh, Susan is 23 less than 23 and She'll look and look and she'll go, well, no, that's the same. So you say, well, we have a sign for the same as, and it's called the equal sign, and that's what it looks like. So throw a couple of those in there, too. Um, once again, uh, um, mix it up a bit. You could find some numbers that are closer together, farther apart, and uh, that's simply what I call uh, just comparing numbers, greater than, less than or equal to. And if you would like some, uh, some practice sheets on this, just go to uh, this lesson, Lesson 24 in the Early Gifted Manual, and you will find uh, two practice sheets that uh, you and your child can do. And this next activity, also with the uh, set of number cards, is called Numbers in Sequence. And instead of explaining it to you, I will show it to you. First of all, obviously, as I said, I've shuffled up these cards pretty well. And let's start this game with three cards. You put down three cards. And you might say, uh, Justin, I want to put these three cards uh, in order from the smallest number to the largest number. And um, this is very challenging because now they're not all in sequence. Uh, the child really has to know his numbers to do this. So this, this particular uh, three here aren't the hardest, but you would say, look what I have to do here. Um, one, and look, uh, 87 is not smaller than 83. It comes after 83. So you would do that and you would say, uh, okay, are they, uh, from smallest to largest now, and hopefully he will say yes. So um, that's playing the game with uh, three cards. And of course, you could go out up to as many cards as you want. Let's see here. Let's try five. Five cards. And of course, uh, she would look at these, and um, once again, you would remind her numbers from the, the smallest to the largest, and she would maneuver around a little bit here, and hopefully come up with that. Some kids are great at, at these, and other kids really, it takes them a long time to get it, so uh, by all means, be prepared for any possibility and be ready to help as needed. And this activity is called uh, Missing Numbers to 100. You remember we did this activity up to 20 and now we're going all the way up to 100. And I'll get into the specifics of uh, this particular 
sheet in just a second here. And as you can see, it's called Missing Numbers One. I've made up three of these for you that you can uh, work with uh, with your child. And of course, uh, you just need to go to the printables uh, section in the Early Gifted Manual and you can make copies of these. All right, like I said, uh, you know, we've, we've, done, we've done this to 20, so uh, you remember um, how we did it there. And you can, uh, if you want to go back and review that, of course you can in Lesson, eight, in lesson 18, but uh, I'll show you how this works. Uh, in that case, it was just one, uh, you remember I had it arranged in uh, lines. This is a, a little bit different. Um, each strip here is separate. We're not like going down from one to a hundred or anything like that. So each strip is separate. So just to make that clear to your child, you might want to do this. Tell them this is not a zero to 99 chart or anything. We're doing these one line at a time. And these are just little chunks of the number line. And tell your child that he's going to fill in the numbers that are missing in these little chunks of the number line. So it would go something like this. And of course, you could maybe do the first one for him to model the activity. And it would go like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And look, I put a comma there, so why don't we finish it off with 11. Of course, the commas, all they do, you can tell him, well, of course, that's a comma, and we're just separating the numbers here. So you've done an example for him. And, and then, of course, uh, as we always do, you could uh, let her go at the rest here and help her as needed, or maybe she will need absolutely no help. Wouldn't that be great? But keep reminding her that it's not a, a hundreds chart. You're just doing little sections, and each one of these lines is, is an individual problem. And finally, we have the activity that I call Number Scrolls Beyond 100. And for this activity, you will need the printable 0 to 99 number grid blank from the early gifted manual. And this is a great activity if your child has, has mastered the numbers up to 100 and is looking for the next challenge. Well, this could be it. So let's start out by doing this. Let's change the title on this. And uh, I'll blank that out. That and that. And let's call it the, the, the 100 to 199 number scroll. So obviously, uh, um, your child will be writing the numbers 100 to 199. And this should be a, a good challenge. So you're going to be working together to fill this out. And the first thing you could do is set the parameters for your child. I mean, obviously, you're starting with 100 up here and going to 199. And as you notice, I'm writing it in this box here because we're going to save this line. Uh, and I'll show you why we're going to save it in a minute. Uh, this is sort of an extra line to practice going into the 200s. Okay, so we start with 100. And at this point, you might want to have her go on because she might make a mistake that will actually be very valuable to her understanding of numbers. For example, um, what I'm saying here is uh, she might decide to go, okay, 100, 101. And of course, we know that that's not 101. Um, she forgot to, to keep the zero as a placeholder for the fact that there are no tens. So you could gently correct her and say, well, look, um, it's a three-digit number. And of course, everything on here will be a three-digit number uh, starting with the number one. And that's in the, in the hundreds place. So that's a, a good uh, tip for her. And 100, 101. So you need that zero to hold the place. And of course, uh, she can go on all the way to 
109. And then you can tell her that from there, it's very regular. Uh, three digits. First digit is always a one. And then you're just uh, um, going up to, uh, for example, when they did the up to 100s chart, you're just going up the numbers the way you always do. 109, 110, 111, 112, and on and on. She goes working her way down finally to 199. And uh, if she's curious and, and wants to just get a peek at what uh, the numbers look like, uh, you know, going into 200, you can tell her that the next number is 200. And now it's going to look just like this top line, except now you have a 2 in the uh, hundreds place. So, of course, that's just a, a way to maybe prepare for the next number scroll, which will be the 200 to 299 uh, number scroll. So, great activity uh, for a child that's uh, ready, you know, advanced, ready to uh, take on even bigger numbers. And of course, uh, you know, uh, he or she could go all the way up to um, a thousand, and you could even maybe put together a little book, and that could be his or her number book from zero to a thousand. So that's uh, number scrolls beyond 100, and that is lesson 24 more zero to 100 number activities.